previously on Saturdays with Mark. Hey homo sapiens and marbites and welcome back to another episode of Saturdays with Marbs. That's me, I am Rogue Marby Scott for any of you new watchers and subscribers. So today is the final look of the series. This is episode 15. So today I am going to transform into something quite um, reminiscent, nostalgic, obviously, because we're doing 80s and 90s cartoons, and yeah, I can't wait to transform into this, this being. This is an inspired look, by the way, so don't take it lightly. How does my skin look on camera? How does my skin look in person? It looks okay. It's getting there, because I have breakouts. Anyway, without further ado, we're going to go on into the tutorial, and we're going to start off with our line work. So using a red eyeliner, I am just going to join these. I've got two red dots there, by, by the way, if you can't see. Can you see? Mm. So I'm just going to join them up because um, time is a bit scarce right now. And this... Yeah. So being the weirdo that I am, I am using a ruler to sketch out the first line and then obviously knowing where the first line is, I am going to sketch out the second red line. So first off, I am going to be putting on my red line base because this is going to be a very detailed patterned face and it's going to be very symmetrical. So I've got to make sure that all the lines I'm doing are kind of, you know, straight regardless my forehead obviously my forehead isn't straight it's curved so i'm going to try and emulate having a straightness there going in with a blue liner i'm going to create a square there and once i've done that i am going to start filling in my red sections got my contacts in now using snazaroo paint i am going in with a red just to fill in the sections of um red that I need and I'm using Snazaroo paints because they, they are quite cheap you know they're only $3.99 but if you want to go more expensive then you can go more expensive but this is meant to be very easily accessible to people on a budget or just people in general so yes I'm using Snazaroo face paints and they do work well but you just need to know how to use them properly because yeah they're a bit watery sometimes especially if you use way too much water as you can see i'm using a detailing brush just to get around some of those edges i missed and then we're going to move on swiftly so going in with a dark blue for this transformation i'm just going to outline my jaw um section with that and then i'm just going to paste that all over my jawline and you know i'm not going to go beyond that because beyond that is going to be a different shade of blue and black underneath so i'm just doing my jawline with that making sure that the paints are nice and thick enough that so you can see and as you can see i'm being really careful not to make these colors bleed together and create purple because i only want red and blue no other colors so with that same blue i'm using a thinner brush and i'm going to do exactly what i did on my jawline but obviously i'm creating a shape so i'm creating a square now so as you can see i'm just using the brush's width to kind of create that square pressing the brush down you know just to get a nice smooth line and then going on top with a really thick um application just so that the blue does not bleed into the red because these are water activated paints once i'm done that i'm going to go in with a silver and this silver well the silver from snazaroo paints 
unless you've got a white base or a lighter base they do appear patchy but that's okay for this look because we are going to do some detailing on this later on so the patchiness is not going to be too much I mean I could have gone on with a silver eyeshadow later but I chose not to doing the same now with that silver face paint I'm going to go on to doing the triangles that we now have left on our face and fill those in and you're going to see on my right cheek it does bleed into the uh, red just a little bit but because of what we're going to be doing later on with the detailing it's not going to matter as much because you're not going to see it and I do go over this application a few more times just so that it doesn't turn into like a, uh, a shimmered pink look So as you can see here, that's where the red and the silver join and yeah, I'm just going over and over but yeah, cutting that out because to save time. Anyway, going in with the gold snazaroo paint. Now the gold snazaroo paint's formula is a little thicker than the silver and um, I've put it on very watery with this brush because I'm gonna go over it with a, just one more layer but it's not going to really matter how patchy this is because we are going to set that in place although it does dry itself out and set itself but we are going to set that um, with some eyeshadows later on and some highlighters after on just to make this middle section of our, of our face look very um, whatchamacallit metallic going in now to the black face paint I am now creating um, horizontal lines onto my silver plate that I've got on my forehead just to create like a grill like um, image I want to say grill yeah grill it's a grill yeah that's what we're gonna call it <laughs> and I'm not being very careful about having straight lines or whatever because I feel like the whole jaggedness of the grill would you know kind of perceive as it's a natural cartoon hand-drawn grill rather than me trying to emulate something realistic and I'm not I'm doing an 80s cartoon today so therefore that's what I'm doing doing the same onto the triangles on both sides of my face I start off from the middle just so that I've got a feel of how much um, more layers I need to do with the black lines to create the grill and then continue to go up and then go down So using the ABH highlighter summer from I just said ABH I'm just going to place that all over my face where you know where I want highlights to be and where you are naturally highlighted so above the eyebrow bone because you know that's one of the places where it kind of protrudes out on your face and then I'm going to switch up and go into bronze to, to go over my eyelids kind of like an eyeshadow I'm doing it really messily because this is supposed to be like a metallic kind of look and when you look at stuff that are metallics they've got kind of like matty looks and stuff so yeah I'm just going in just to make this whole face look shiny I do dip into um, Moonstone a little bit but I am concentrating mostly with the summer and then I am going to highlight um, with a light well I'm going to go in really concentrated with um, summer on the inner corners of my eyes going in with a light wash of the blue that I'm using on my uh, jawline it's the dark blue from snazzery paint so I'm just going to create a neck piece now well not a neck piece I'm just going to do this onto my neck and then once I am happy with that and brought it down to my chest because we are not leaving it on my neck I am going to um, go into a black face paint to create a gradation between my t-shirt and my neck so that it kind of looks more cohesive because we are going to be throwing on a box later 
and when I say a box basically the whole costume that I have made for this was made out of Amazon delivery boxes because I believe in um, recycling please recycle um, save the planet and uh, yeah I just felt well let me do that going in with a silverish blue toned highlighter now I'm going to place that onto the blue jawline that I've created just to make it look more um, metallic as we say and I, I I wished I could have found like a red but whatever going to do some poppings onto my natural skin skin bone structure but yeah, I, I actually really wished I could find a red highlighter, but who would actually wear a red highlighter? I mean, I could have used like a blush or whatever, but woohoo. Anyway, so like we did with our forehead and triangles, I am going to now do the top of my li lip to create um, a grill. So you might want to watch what I'm doing rather me than explaining because I'm, I am being quite intricate and it's yeah being intricate sometimes it's really hard for me to explain what I'm doing but as you can see I'm using edges of that brush to do so then I'm going to do those lines and I'm going to do more lines than I have done on the grills just so that it's a bit more grilly because this needs to be part of the transformation um, <laughs> do you get what I'm doing so far anyway going in with a yellow face paint I am creating some wiring now and I'm going to use a thin brush obviously to do that I'm going to do two yellow um, wirings on my face and then I'm going to do green and once I have done the green I am going to fill in the negative spaces with a with a black face paint and that is pretty much the look I'm going to let you um, carry on watching what I'm doing to see the intricacies of what I'm doing and how careful and how not careful I'm being but yeah I'm just going to leave you to it now So homo sapiens on my bites, if you haven't guessed who I was inspired by, what cartoon I was inspired by, well I was inspired by... you enjoyed the video the tutorial because obviously I walked you through how to create this look now that you know how I created it and what I was inspired by inspired by Transformers um, yes so I did make the costume out of boxes and I kind of used some Amazon boxes that I got and boxes that I got from work um, just to create it I used everything that was recyclable so the gun that was I can't remember what side the gun was on but that was a milk carton with just a round circle that I spray painted um, yeah and I'm no way a cosplayer but you know what making that costume and making a she or um, helmet out of an Amazon box was quite a you know something that I've never really done before but 
yeah, maybe I might, you know, look into doing cosplay more often. Let me know. Shout off down in the comments down below. And also, let me know what you think of this look and all the other looks that you've seen in the series so far. So far. So far. It's the end. Ooh. Unless, of course, I have a surprise for you. Okay. Ciao for now, homo sapiens, and stay safe. Bye. P.S. It has been an amazing 15 weeks doing these looks for you guys. Um, yeah, I've enjoyed every single look. This was possibly one of the hardest looks just because I needed all of my angles that I was, you know, I had to sketch out properly onto my face. It was really, it was just time consuming. Plus I was not rushing, but I, I got to do something after once I wash this off, but um, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and woo! We are now at 1k subscribers on the channel, so yeah, stay tuned. There might be a giveaway soon. Bye! Frank Scott.